hello friends welcome back uh, so guys on your demand we will come up with a new session uh, regarding the repeat flow steps so how you can implement a repeat flow steps in a live project we will see you in details so before that you are new in my channel so please like share and uh, subscribe to my channel okay so before wasting time uh, let's start the demo okay so quickly i'll explain you the repeat flow steps then we will see the demo okay so repeat step is nothing but uh, repeatedly execute its style steps up to the maximum number of times that you specified so it uh, determines whether to re-execute the style steps based on a repeat on a condition okay it means it will repeatedly execute the child steps whatever number of times you mention the count in your uh, properties okay and uh, there were also one count variable is available in uh, properties so this count variable specifies the maximum number of times server re execute the child steps in a repeat step let's say if you mention a count as zero so let me show you uh, firstly, we will create one. Let's start the demo. Firstly, we create one package new package uh, repeat uh, repeat count. Um, one two nine. Okay, one to nine. This is our package name. Just copy this name and finish. Now click on new. After that, create new folder. Finish. Then again, click on this uh, folder new. We required one folder like flow uh, where we creating a flow service so just right click and uh, create a new flow service and give the name as a count 1 to 10 1 to 9 sorry okay. so this is my flow service name so empty flow got created so let me explain you the first properties okay so once you click on the uh, like uh, let me click like i'll give one repeat step here so briefly i'll uh, explain the repeat flow steps so this account okay so count is nothing but it specifies the maximum number of times server execute the test steps okay let's say if you mention the count as a zero then what happen the default execution happen at a one times so 1 plus 0 it will execute at one time and it will not repeat okay if you mention the count as a 1 okay then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so it will repeat uh, like execution happen at two times and uh, at a first time it will execute and on the base of a condition it will repeat at a one time so 1 plus 1 execution happen at a two times okay if you mention the count as a minus 1 it means as long as your repeat condition get true it will keep repeating okay and uh, second thing the repeat interval property is there so this is optional things and this uh, like property specifies that how long the server wait before re executing the re executing the child steps okay and the default unit in a seconds so if you want to mention as per your requirement you can mention the interval time but the count and repeat on property this is a like important properties in a repeat step okay and the third property is that a repeat on okay so there are two ways either if you want to repeat on the base of uh, like based on the condition success or failure okay so if i set repeat on a property as a success it means it will re-execute when all the child steps complete successfully and if you mention the repeat property as a failure then it will re-execute when any one of the child step gate fails 
okay so those complete execution i mentioned here the uh, space the count property specifies that maximum number of times the server re-executed child steps in the repeat step set count to zero to instruct the server that the child step should not re-execute it set count to value greater than zero to instruct the server to re-execute re the child steps up to specified number of times and set count to minus one to instruct the server to re-execute the child step as long as the specified repeat on condition is true okay then uh, we will like check the like we will uh, in details we will discuss by using the demo so here my requirement is that i want to count 1 to 9 so very first i will take uh, try catch block yeah three sequences for uh, error handling so my first sequence is main block and this always exit on success comment you can mention as a main block uh, then take another sequence move right here you can give a comment as a try block and it will always exit on a failure and now we required a third sequence you can give a comment as a catch block and it will always exit on a done okay so business related logic we mentioned here how the impl implementation happen a try catch block the video already uploaded on the same channel i must say you can go through this particular video if you have uh, any clarification required the error handling how error handling works in a web methods so uh, i'll disable this step so that i'll manipulate my pipeline so you can disable this uh, catch block and here i'll take one map step very first i required one map step so just drag and drop one map step here and here i am using uh, like taking one variable count then count we will set as zero this is a basic thing actually I want to count 1 to 9 so it will start from 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 up to 9 okay then we will uh, take the repeat step okay so here guys you can see the properties comment you can mention here scope this is optional thing timeout and label okay the basic thing is that count repeat interval and the repeat on okay so here I am mentioning the count as a 9 repeat on property as a success so i want to count like i want to repeat till based on my conditions okay so basic execution happen at a one times if the condition got a successful then it will repeat at a nine times okay so i'll again explain you the one variable is the dollar it tries it will so like it will specify that how many times this particular execution happen yeah the particular repetition happen on the child steps okay and here we will uh, take one map step again i'll take one map step here and using one transform transformer uh, like mathematical mathematical function i'm using here add events so maximize i'll map count to number one and uh, num like num1 and num2 i'll uh, take a variable as a one and this value i'll map to count so what happened in this execution count very first count it will coming as a zero then it will add here zero plus one one then now the count value is one again it will repeat one it will come in 1, 1 plus 1, 2 value. Again, the count is 2. So, it will repeat till the condition gets satisfied. 
repeat on condition and again it will check the count is available or not so till the time if you have count it will keep repeating okay so again again you can check here the dollar retries variable so as i said uh, in loop step we have a dollar iteration variable and in repeat step we have a dollar retries variable so it uh, specifies that how many times it will repeat the execution uh, execution time it will suggest this particular variable so again i'll take one map step to check the dollar retries variable value okay so i'll take one variable here So if you want to map step here now, just paste it here and then if you want to move right, we can do that and you can delete this map step from here and this map step, what I do, I'll take one variable string or uh, like retries variable, retries variable and uh, I'll copy this storage retries variable. This is a pipeline variable. So copy and this map step. I'll in percent percent sign. Always if you want to uh, if you looking for a pipeline substitution, don't forget to mention the value in a percent percent. Okay, so control V percent and again make sure that you need to select this option perform pipeline substitution. So click on OK and after that you can save the demo. Now this is my logic map step repeat and map and now I'm looking for uh, like I want to complete my code so you can enable this step and here we required one inbuilt service get last year to get all the error details. Okay now my code got completed now i can save the demo and just click on empty space run as a run flow service now you can see the count as a dollar it rise so something is uh, happening let me check the demo Here value count to num1, num2 as a 1 and count value to count. Okay. Repeat as a 9. Repeat on a success. Here I took one map steps value to count. Then okay, okay. I got it. Here I need to take another variable. You, by uh, like clicking this option you can delete the variable substitution and take another variable let me first copy this variable so that i can assign the value and it will not vanish okay so take one string or it rise or it rise where okay double click in percent percent you can mention the value and then you can click on this perform pipeline variable substitution click on ok now you can save the demo and now you can check so here we got a count as a 10 because well, like basic execution happen at a one times and it will uh, once the repeat on a condition it will check the repeat on a condition it will successful and that's why it will repeat like at a nine times so nine plus one count is a ten so but here we received as it is value why because let me check okay i got it point so just move the step at the right and then you can save the demo because this repeat this is a basic flow step and uh, this is a child step so that if you looking for a dollar retrace variable it always like this is parent parent step and under parent step you can mention your child steps so now you can save and run the flow service so run as flow service 
now here you can check the count as a 10 and it tries variable as a 9 it means 9 times it will repeat and the basic execution happen at a 10 times so 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so quickly i'll debug and i'll show you what execution happen here okay so so here the count is zero it will come in ma like this map step again here you can check the count one and dollar it tries as a one again now the count value got to change two now it will like condition got satisfied that's why it will again repeating because we have a count till the time it will execute this number of times okay so now the count you can see as a four again it will repeat now the count is five again it will repeat till the nine eight then nine and then execution will stop okay uh, so guys that way you can perform the repeat flow steps in your live project okay so most of the cases we are using a loop step but in a certain condition if you want to use a, a repeat step so it's a very simple thing we need to understand only the properties this count and uh, repeat on let's say if you mention a repeat count as a nine repeat on a success but at a first step if you got a failure instead of a success you got a failure then it will won't repeat it will stop the execution at a very first step if you got a success then it will repeating based on the condition okay so if you mention the repeat on a condition as a failure but at a first time your yeah, first stage if you got a success then it will won't repeat the repeat the execution will stop and it will uh, display your uh, like a uh, particular result so based on the condition it will repeat okay so at the first stage like repeat on a condition you mention as a success if you got a success at the first time then it will repeat okay if you got a failure then it will stop the execution so that what exactly it is okay so guys uh, that's uh, that's all about today's demonstration so i hope you are enjoying this video so if you like this video then please subscribe like share and comment so we'll come up with a new session new topic so till the time stay happy stay connected and thank you so much have a great day